Hey! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these flower keychains. They are so cute to hang on your bag or something and you can crochet them in your favorite color combo. So what you will need is two different yarn colors. So I chose this kind of speckled green for the stem and then this yellow for the flower petals and then a brown for the middle. So I'm using cotton yarn and a two and a half millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a key ring, a stitch marker and a little bit of stuffing. So we're going to start by making the flower petals. So you want to start with a magic circle. So hold your yarn like this, wrap it around your fingers and then wrap it around again in a cross. Hold the yarn down with these fingers and grab your crochet hook. Insert your hook underneath the first yarn and grab the second bit of yarn and pull up a loop. Hold this loop with your finger and then grab the yarn in the back and pull it through the loop on your hook. And that's how you do a magic circle. Now into that magic circle you want to crochet six single crochets. Then pull your magic circle close by pulling on this short end bit. So I usually don't pull it super tight yet at this point. Um, I just like to crochet another row first and then pull it super tight. So for the second row we are going to alternate single crochets and increases until you get to the end. And at the end you should have 9 stitches. And an increase means that you're going to do 2 single crochets into the same stitch. And you also want to add your stitch marker when you start the row. So after the first stitch, add the stitch marker so you know where the beginning of your row is. So after I'm done with the second row, I do pull my magic circle really tight. So it's nice and closed and then I kind of push the circle outwards a bit. Because when you pull the magic circle close, it tends to kind of pull everything inwards. So you want to kind of push it outwards again. Then for row 3 you want to do a single crochet into the first two stitches. And then you want to do an increase. And just repeat this until you get to the end of the row. Row 4 is a single crochet into the first 3 stitches. And then do an increase. And again repeat this until the end of the row. Then for row 5 to 9 you just want to single crochet across. And you should be having um, 15 stitches at this point. So just 15 single crochets in each of those rows. Row 10 starts with a decrease, which basically means that we're going to be merging two stitches together into one stitch. Add your stitch marker back in. And then do a single crochet into the next six stitches. Then do another decrease and then single crochets into the last 5 stitches. Then in row 11 you want to do a single crochet into the first 3 stitches. Then do a decrease, then a single crochet into 3 stitches again, a decrease, one single crochet and another decrease. And you should have 10 stitches at the end of this row. Row 12 starts with a single crochet. Then 
I decrease I single crochet into two stitches I decrease and then just a single crochet into the last three stitches and for 13 the last row we're just going to single crochet across and at this point you should have eight stitches so you just want to do eight single crochets once you get to the end of the row you want to slip stitch into the next stitch and then cut off your yarn and you can weave in the ends so i just wove in my ends with my crochet hook i just found it easier um, you can also use a tapestry needle if you want So you want to make six of these flower petals. Then we're moving on to the pattern for the stem of the flower. So you want to start with another magic circle and you want to make uh, six single crochets into that magic circle. And pull the circle close but not completely tight again. And for row 2 to 7 you want to just single crochet across, so just 6 single crochets for each of those rows. And then after the second row you want to uh, close the magic circle fully, so pull it really tight and then kind of push the circle outwards again like we did with the uh, flower petals. Row 8 is alternating single crochets with increases and you should have 9 stitches at the end of this row. Row 9 is a single crochet into the first 2 stitches and then an increase and repeat that until you get to the end of the row. For row 10 you want to start with a, a single crochet into the first 3 stitches and then an increase and again repeat that until you get to the end of the row. Then row 11 is a single crochet into the first four stitches and then an increase and this is the last row so at the end of this row you want to slip stitch into the next stitch again and you do want to leave a pretty long tail since we're going to be using that yarn to attach the stem to the flower part later on. So weave in the end and then we're moving on to making the middle part of the flower. Again start with a magic circle and then make a 9 single crochets into that magic circle. Pull the magic circle close but not fully tight yet. And for the second row you want to do an increase in each of the stitches which means we're going to be doubling up the stitches. So at the end of the row you should have 18 stitches. Once that second row is done we're going to attach the flower petals one by one. So you want to hold your flower petal flat like this and stick your hook through both of these sides. Then put your hook through the next stitch on the flower middle. And slip stitch the two pieces together. Then 
then add your hook into the next stitch on the flower petal and then to the next stitch on the flower middle and slip stitch them together again. So you want to do that for each flower petal and we're going to be doing three stitches on each of the petals. So that's six flower petals times three stitches which is 18 stitches and that is the amount of stitches on the flower middle. So it should match perfectly. Once you get to the end and you've attached all the petals, you want to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made. Then cut off your yarn and weave in the end. And then all that's left to do is attach the stem to the flower part. And we'll do that with the long tail that we left. So we're going to attach the inner loops of the stitches on the stems to the outer loops of the stitches on the flower petals. And that way you'll have a nice seamless edge without any of the brown showing through. So I'm going to stick my hook to the outer or front loop of one of the stitches on the flower. Then I'm going to be grabbing my stem and insert my hook into the inner or back loop of the stitch on the left of the end of yarn. Then slip stitch these together and repeat this for all of these stitches. So you do want to stop for a bit when you have about six stitches left um, to add a bit of stuffing to the stem and then just continue to the end. At the end you want to slip stitch into the next stitch again and then cut off your yarn and weave in the end. And that's your crochet flower done. So I did attach a key ring on the top of the stem to turn these into a keychain so you can hang them on your keys or on your back like I did. And I think these look so cute. I really, really love these. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. Bye.